Yeah, salute up, family. Yeah, I've been very busy lately, last couple of days. <clears throat> you know, once I get finished with my usual routine, I have to be, instead of getting me some rest, I've been still moving. So, and moving, and I'm not not knowing what I'm anticipating once I get there to side or information. So, um, first go round, went down there. Me and early, before everybody got down there, my man said, man, I'm full. I can't do it today. So I was anticipating it may be that. So I went on to plan B and went on and went out there and um, started investigating on some equipment that I have that was not uh, properly done right. So I'm going back, doing some sciencing of so a person that posted that did it right, they didn't do it right, and didn't connect some things as they should have connected. So I'm going behind them, investigating and studying and researching to find out what's going on in a field that I'm not, uh, I'm familiar with, but I'm not totally in depth with. But you know, I, I don't, I don't uh, turn down to the challenge. So I went and did my investigation, went out there, that took time. You know, you got to search for it. I thought I wasn't going to even find um, one, but I found one, and I uh, found out one thing that was uh, wrong. They they had messed up, and I got the uh, part for that, which is <clears throat> in my possession now. I, had to, I got that, and another thing I found out that was wrong, I got from another guy that was just, you know, in the area at the time with me, you know, I didn't know the brother, but the brother um, was like, yeah, I know I have, inf you know, I have knowledge on that. I don't choose to do it myself, but if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it for myself. I'm like, I, I understand that as far as me with a lot of things that I do. But, um, you know, from his understanding and looking at it and investigating it from what I knew, I knew something of that nature might have had happened in which he kind of verified it on that same premises because that's not no ordinary thing to just happen uh, from a professional person doing a job. So obviously the person that so-called called themselves professional did not do it right and, or made a mistake, had an accident, whatever the case, and didn't in, inform me about it, but um, it's known today. So so I, I got that part uh, solved that as well. Now I got two more uh, things I need to figure out. Now one of them is too, I wouldn't investigate, I looked at theirs compared to mine, and it looked like it's more on a ground issue. I'm thinking they, they both, both may be grounds, but one of them is black and one of them is gray. But on the other vehicle, both of them was dark blue. But they both, I looked at the wiring of it, and the wiring of it is more like straight copper. Um, like, and it's at the thickness of like, could go to uh, electric or ground. So I'm, I'm investigating that to look more into that. I'm gonna go and look, look up some diagrams on that and investigate that once I have the time. I don't, I'm so pressed on time, I don't have a lot of downtime. So when I'm up, I'm up taking care of business. I already pretty much planned my whole week, pretty much whole year. But I know as far as in the little details, like something like this that you're not anticipating, on, it may take up time. It may back you up on time and things that people may be like why are you behind on it why you ain't did this why you ain't did that yeah you didn't you say you're gonna do that <laughs> i'm dealing with things that was outside of my perimeters of knowledge at the time or have come into play that um the person that brought it into play may have done it for by accident or for mischievous reasons and me being the guy that i am is not going to bow down and accept um that as a defeat or as a <clears throat> way of hindering me. I'm going to, um, I'm really definitely not going to go back and um, ask that person to um, reevaluate and do it because they most time they just make it even worse. So instead of doing that, I just manned up and got up and and raised my own level of understanding, knowledge, wisdom, power, understanding in that issue. So I solve it. And once it's solved by me, I know it would never be able to come back by me or anybody by me or anybody in my my uh, cipher and be used as a tool for a hindrance. I will crush him 
crush it wherever it stands. So that's why I do the things that I do. It's not that I do it for fighting causes or things of that nature. I do it for justice. I do, I do it for paving a, a path. I do it for cutting down the trees in the forest so the person coming after me <clears throat> can come through on an easier path that is more just. I may fall in a ditch. I drew a picture one time of, um, it was a, a man, he was walking. And there was a lot of people behind him. And then they was at a cliff. And at the cliff tip, there was a hole in between one side of the cliff to get to the other side of the cliff. And the man in the front who was leading, he chose to be the bridge by laying his body on one side of the cliff and his hands on the other side of the cliff and to uh, allow the children and the women and the other men and brothers walk over him to get to the other side of the um, mountain without falling down into the depths of the, the uh, valley. But anyway, and I, I, that, that had always stuck with me and I feel I've been that type of person um, as far as I can think back and that's pretty much what I've been dealing with family on the last few days I look like it ain't over yet so because I got to go back to this other guy he didn't um did some things too talking about he professional been professional for the last 30 years in business I'm starting to see a lot of people that that be in business is not more professional than a lot of people that ain't even they got the skills but they not in business <clears throat> but um anyway I got to deal with this problem with this guy you know, people people good at talking and talk, but when it comes to showing the proof of what they talk, a lot of them is half but about what they do. And I've been dealing with a lot of that here in Dallas. They're not like men in Miss Michigan, in Detroit. You know, you say you about it, you about it. It ain't no in between doubts about it because you've been tested through the fire. You can't even you can't even say you about something like that up in Michigan or something, and, and you ain't because you're gonna get you're gonna get um called out you, you may not even make it but see you in a, a place where people are more uh fake than real people faking be something that they not uh uh living out of their means and things of that nature mentally here in the areas surrounding dallas uh fort worth so they can say one thing <clears throat> and, and and not really be about it and see they can get away with it as far as from growing up from a child all the way up to growing to going to business because they ain't really never been checked um, but from where I'm from, you know, a lot of these dudes wouldn't even be alive, let alone be in business and, and really probably wouldn't have got their head popped, popped off, knocked off, beat up, uh, shut up. You know what I'm saying? So I got to deal with a lot of the fake funk around here in a whole different um, area as far as business. And Dallas, to tell you the truth, is a business city, but it's a lot of shady muck in this motherfucker. Excuse my language, but <clears throat> I'm just being honest. So I got to deal with um, these type of situations more frequently than I would in, in Michigan. And I will be more swifter in Michigan than I am in um, Dallas area. The thing about um, I'll be swifter, but it's almost like they balanced it out. The When the snowing time period, <clears throat> it slows business down up there in, um, in the uh, Midwest areas. But down here, you, you're not slowed down. The only thing slowing you down down here <clears throat> is the f fake, the funk type things. You know what I'm saying? So you may not have to dig yourself out of snow and took that time out. Uh, this It's on some other crap. So once God balanced that out and smoothed that out to the point where we can have that mentality as far as you can't fake the funk. Um, like in Midwest down here in the Dallas DFW area <clears throat> and the swiftness, man, our people going to be on a whole nother level now. I'm striving to be one of them to pave that way as far as I'm concerned. And a lot of people that's from other areas beside um, Dallas or DFW area like Midwest or, you know, maybe up there in um, New York area um, east, uh, or maybe you're from California west side area. They understand what I'm talking about. When dudes or something, do they do something. But where you from, that been got elf the hell up. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> but you you can't you can't put your hands on them like you want to or check them like you want to in this area or in, the, in this um, time period. And then if you do, then you got to take them to court and do all this. This is not a lot of, uh, that's, that's a lot of, so 
I would rather go in and solve it by going ahead and solving the problem um, myself. So, like I say, it will never happen. It will never be able to get past me again, let alone anybody in my cipher. So, for example, um, you know, I I was in. Um, I, I've learned the trade of changing tires, putting on tires, and uh, uh, far as all the way to uh, making tires, the whole selling tires, all that. So. <clears throat> I was at a uh, thing getting my tires balanced, you know. I don't have no tire balancer. But the guy was balancing my tires, and then, you know, I was out there chilling on the sideline. Well, as he did my tires, then bad boy spent it. And that bad boy's .25. And then he took it off the thing and was going to put it on my, my uh, car. I said, well, well, hold up, man. That car, that tire's not balanced. Oh, yeah, it, it, it's balanced. I said, how is it balanced when, the, when it's Point two five still on the scale. You um either you're gonna um, balance my tire all right, or I'll come over there and do it myself. And see see how a person that knows what's going on, a blind person compared to a seen person is totally different. That's what I got out the um Quran today. Interesting. But see how they try to pull things on over you like that. It's sad. I'm I'm just so sick of it, man. I'm very much so sick of it. Um, and, and it's I've been dealing with it all my life. I'm just sick of fake want to be called. And 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 be honest, it's more more so on the um the uh, Hispanic side than the black side or the white side. It's more on the Hispanic side. And I now I'm starting to sense why because a lot of them go into business. Because they was in business with somebody else, their brother or sister, whoever that is. And then they branch out to start their own business and they don't even know the profession they damn self. But they're going into business because they know that's um, a way of um, generating in more money. But they're going in the, in the business prematurely. And we, the ones that go and help them out by giving us our her, her money, feel the uh, pain or the anguish or had to take t- the BS from them not being professionally uh, up to par on their business. See, they may uh, go into cutting grass or fixing tires or whatever kind of business it is, but they going into those businesses. They want to, they, they did. They, that's a good thing about it. They know they need to go into business. We need to be more about it, but they go into business prematurely. And you have to deal with them learning. And see, and the thing about it, when they go into business, <clears throat> if they mess up their brother's stuff, <clears throat> they they help their brother, they, their family, or whatever you want to call them, their race, more so than they help your race. That's bad. You, you know, they, they give them the discounts. They give them the, uh, the leads. They... Uh, they go to extra length. They do for self. That's a, but that's a good thing, doing for self. But then when it comes to another race and doing right by them and just by them, they haven't been rightly just by us and us having to deal with the BS on the behalf of them in the prematureness of their business. You see what I'm saying? So, and that's the type of stuff you're dealing with down here in Texas because you got a lot of these Hispanics just they know they they go into business. And you see what they push for as far as going up to the politics, as far as in uh, Texas and and basically world um, the country over, so they can get more benefits as far as in going to business and things in that nature. Well, be honest, they need to uh, <clears throat> get some more. Um, um, they need to be getting some more help as far as in educating them to get the stuff professionally up to par. That's what they that's what they slacking and weak at. And a a, a a a good part, a good example of that is when I was with Swift, Swift was hiring Mexicans <clears throat> that did not um have a license to drive trucks, they hadn't took no test to drive trucks, they couldn't even read English uh signs. But they got them out there driving trucks because they don't want to get a job to us. Because we, we, we see our value too much. So people, uh, some other people from Hispanic see their value. They accept a lower value just to, so they can get something that they wouldn't normally get. So this man out here driving truck, a truck for 
Swift, okay, and got in a major accident and killed a whole family in their vehicle. Now, look at the, look at the example now. This is just in the trucking, but they is I like this in a lot of different fields, and I think uh, we as a people worldwide need to start addressing this. But look at the example. And see, I felt a lot of this. I might not got hit with the damn truck, but I'm getting hit with other um, other BS. The man hit the truck and killed the whole family, right? Be be between, be be before that happened, it was all right. They even let him go up to Maine and stuff. They talking about bringing the border. Man, they they ship him up to Maine. When I was up in Maine, they ship him up to Maine down, uh, uh, around the out coasts of the East Coast and go up there and work for him. You know, so uh, I, that's that's just they say one thing and doing another. But this here killed the whole family, right? So now it's all broad news. You know what I'm saying? So the FBI, the federal, had to come in and investigate, shut the whole business down, shut businesses down all countrywide to start investigating the scene. Like, how many of these bad boys um, y'all really got working for y'all that don't supposed to be working for y'all in this illegal business? And the family came out with a lot of money. <clears throat> I tell you that. Now, you know, the white man going to look out for his brother as well. Now, we as truck drivers knew that wasn't the first ones. <laughs> they wasn't the first ones. First ones, um, they allowed to come through without no licenses and not be able to uh, professionally do the job, even though we had to go through all the work and go through the college and get the um Tech training and all that. These bad boys just walk through the door. I <laughs> don't even speak our language and got the job. You see what I'm saying? But we knew it. You see what I'm saying? So that, as far as uh, Miss Kam uh, Kamala Harris and um, Joe Biden, <clears throat> you say um, on some premises and bases of things of that nature. Well, let's see how just you can make it. Far as in this professional business arena on a legal level if you ain't got the credentials for it then why the hell is they doing it if you're not qualified for it well, then why the hell are you allowing them to um do things that are, they, they're not qualified for and let's make this stuff no more just you ain't got to give us a damn thing but make that shit more just that's what i'm talking about because we over here feeling and dealing with a uh, situation because you allow this country has been allowing um, people that are not qualified for positions, not um, um, even um, sh should should not even even be able to even do the jobs, doing the jobs, and you wonder why this bad boy going to hell. You got a little third grade education person doing a person that should have a education of a master's PhD doing all over the country, talking about you running a damn country. That's why one of the one of the reasons why, but um, with that being stated, let me get on up out of here and I'll get back with y'all later. Peace, fam.